मीडिया टेक का नाम सुनकर यू मे थिंक ऑफ स्मार्टफोन टैबलेट्स और इवन टीवी इनफैक्ट आपके घर में ऐसी कई सारी चीजें होंगी जो आपको पता भी नहीं है और प्रॉब्ली ड्रॉइंग पावर फ्रॉम अ मीडिया टेक चिप लेकिन देर इज वन मोर सेगमेंट वेर द ब्रांड इज अग्रेसिवली ट्राइंग टू मेक अ नेम एंड वी विल सी सम कटिंग एज टेक्नोलॉजी फ्रॉम दैम वेरी सून एंड दैर इज ऑटोमोबाइल्स अब डिमेंसिटी ऑटो के बारे में हमने पहले भी बात करा है आपने हमारे पहले वीडियोज देखे होंगे बट इट सीन्स All the talks will soon become a reality, and for that I will be speaking to MediaTek officials to learn more. आपके लिए भी ये है काफी कुछ सीखने के लिए, काफी कुछ समझने के लिए. So with that, let's begin. So hi, it was my first ever MediaTek offline event where I got to know about MediaTek Dimensity Auto, and for the very first time, I got to experience the car live, which is being powered by the MediaTek Auto, and which is basically on the concept of MediaTek cockpit. It was very exciting to have insights about this, about the chipsets and everything from the OEM. We got to know about the auto and EV future in India. The exposure, the demonstration, is very nice for any uh, auto enthusiast. I'm joined by Dr. Mike Chang. He oversees Dimensity Auto Platform at MediaTek. Firstly, sir, before we begin, thanks for giving your time to 91 Mobile. Yes, thank you for your time as well. And I did get to hear your keynote. And you know what I could gather is Dimensity Auto is a fairly complex technology. Yet the brand is trying its best to simplify it and make it as widely available as possible. Well, I have some difficult sets of questions for you. Hopefully, you can simplify them for our audience. Sure. Yeah. So the first question that I have is that Dimensity Auto promises a lot of things. Let's keep it to Indian context first. So, if you can share, what is your strategy regarding Dimensity Auto with regards to Indian Indian market? You know, I think that India is a fast-growing GDP country in the world. In the future, it's going to world factory. That the automotive industry definitely is one of them. So, I think the major goal here is to want to participate with it and help and you know, support the customer here to expand not only the local market but globally. That's our mission and goal. First of all, the second thing is that we provide, uh, you know, a series of products from from entry level to premium with the hardware and the software capability, so that customer can use that uh, easily and less expenses to time to market. That's very important. Also, we use the latest uh, process node, for example, from six nanometers to three nanometer. That's the best best process node. Uh, semiconductor for the automotive. And the last one is that we want to have a local support, in-time support, service. So we expand our service team here and our software talent, use the software talent here together with our customers. So that's our, our mission. So that seems a lot of power packed into one tiny chip. So I'm guessing all the learnings that you take from Indian market, obviously you will be also applying it to the global market. Yes. So can you share any overview of Dimensity Auto platform with regards to the global market? Yes, uh, currently we have the Copic uh, platform SOC. I think we have the entry and the premium. I think that's uh, one of the important product right now. But also we have telematic chip that's uh, uh, based on our 5G and 4G modem. That's also uh, worldwide uh, adaptable. So uh, now that we have the PMIC, Power, Power IC, also serves the automotive industry and, and also Wi-Fi and Bluetooth as well. At the event, you also spoke about MediaTek Dimensity Auto MT2713 and MT2715. While the names are a little complicated to remember, but I'm sure the features is what matters to the customers. Yes. Can you share some key features of these chips? Yeah, I think we want to provide the uh, hardware and the software scalability. So these two chips is module is pin to pin compatible. So first of all, the customer use it, they can easily uh, upgrade the hardware and also that's first thing. The second thing is that the powerful CPU as compared to uh, other competitors, I think that we provide the best CPU performance in this segment. And also uh, the AI, the stuff, and also uh, the software scalability. Yeah. So that's the technology with the MediaTek, and of course, we will be seeing more in the future. But from you, because you oversee the segment very closely, you are also excited about the whole automotive sector as a, as a whole. So my last question for you would be, how do you envision the car future in the next five to 10 years, especially if you can also share some insights with regards to the Indian market? Yeah, I think that end user deserve 
uh, better in cabin user experience in the future. I think the better cameras around you and also uh, display wider, see clearly, and also the AI should come into play. Yeah. That's in the yeah. future how AI shaped the new driver experience and also the entertainment and, and also productivity you can do in the car. So that's very important uh, for the future. So I think that's also the driving force is that how AI to change the human machine interface. And second is the entertainment stuff that uh, you enjoy more uh, in the car. I think the next one is that how this uh, AI to bring the uh, next level uh, stuff. There's still a lot of uh, understanding that we are exploring. For example, uh, car user manual that uh, you don't need to use the thick book or keep on searching with a button, but with a simple conversation with the car, you can provide anything you need. Any general message for our audience or anything about automotive uh, sector that excites you? I think that uh, the chance of media tech is that uh, we have a lot of uh, uh, technologies. That's the core of the company. We are a technology company. And with that technology, we develop the products uh, fit for the market. So that's uh, very important. So uh, most important thing is that uh, we keep on investing on this technology and have a vision about what is needed for the future. So that is very important. So yeah. MediaTek invests a lot on R&D researches and also development. And also we talk to the ecosystem, innovate with the ecosystem together. So that's a mission. I think we have already seen what MediaTek has done with smartphones. We have already seen with computers and tablets. Again, if I look at all these devices, it's all about how they behave with each other. And I think with the car, MediaTek is trying to achieve the same. And as you mentioned that the infotainment system within the car is equally important for the other passengers in the car, if not the driver. So yeah, that's something to look forward to. Of course, you touched upon AI, but I think Dr. Chang, I will probably leave those questions for your colleagues as well. So before I get to that, again, thank you for your time to 91 Mobile. Thank you for your time. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. So for the next segment, I'll be speaking to CK Wong. Stay tuned till we reach out to the AI part of things. So now I'm joined by CK Wang. He oversees the IoT side of things at MediaTek. Mr. Wang, thanks for joining us. Thanks for giving your time to 91 Mobile. My pleasure. Yeah. And um, so I was talking to your colleague a while back, he was mentioning AI. You know, now if we look at it, no matter what technology we talk about, AI is something that is impossible to not talk about. Everybody is excited about AI, MediaTek is excited about AI. Exactly. So firstly, I'd like to know from your point of view, how do you think AI will enhance user experience as a whole? And of course, with regards to EV. Yeah, absolutely. That will be the game changing rule in the future by adding more AI in the user experience. Especially, we have a customers just right in India. They are trying to adopt in several of their own developed AI models to enhance the riding safety, to enhance the, the maintenance of the two wheelers, to enhance the fleet management. By the way, eventually, they want to enhance their operating efficiency to make more money through the AI assistant. So, I think uh, that would be really a game changer for all the customers, especially in India. Yeah. You know, in fact, actually, I got a glimpse of MediaTek's own AI at, in Barcelona this year, where people can actually generate images in real time. And that yes. was for smartphones, but we are talking about auto here. You mentioned four wheelers, but you know, in the Indian context, when we talk about EVs, electric two wheelers specifically, we can't miss because in India, two wheelers have a big market. So how do you think IoT features will enhance the user experience with regards to electric two wheelers? That's a very good question. I think I totally agree with you that uh, the two wheeler market is growing, not only because of the population, but also due to the government policy yeah. to transfer from the traditional mechanism uh, to the future EV two wheelers. And uh, I think for, for sure that uh, not only from the hardware perspective, but also from the software perspective, yeah. we're developing a lot of new features with customers. And with the best CP performance solution we have, I think we do develop a future growth for the customer to develop their next generation EV cluster, even with smarter function, with more AI capability built in to have a facial detection, to have a traffic situation detection, even for the fleet management. 
to improve customers' uh, operation efficiency. Do you, see, do you see a future of customers unlocking their two-wheeler with their face? I think possible. possible? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you're not wearing the helmet, yeah. or I just mentioned, there's customers that think... And probably AI needs to train on the helmet side of the things as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And by the way, if someone's got drunk... <laughs> <laughs> then let's hope they don't use the bike. Yeah. No, right, right. So yeah. the face turns red or something else. But um, at this Fatigue. event, uh, yeah. MediaTek also made a very significant announcement. There is a partnership with Geo to expand your footprint in India, especially exactly. with this latest technology. So could you elaborate how this partnership will benefit users in real life? Well, yeah, that's a very exciting collaboration. Uh, we've been working with Geo for many aspects of the products and the engagement. So this, uh, especially dedicated for two-wheeler dashboard, would be a game-changing partnership and a game-changing business model with Geo. And I think it would definitely benefit the most of the customers in India because it not only embraces the media tech hardware, but also the, the 4G apps and uh, subscribers and uh, subsidy and all the, all the other things that the Geo is good at. So I think MediaTek plus Geo would be 1 plus 1 equals 11, yeah. the effect to the So market. I can safely say Geo, if it is revolutionizing the, the telco side of things, MediaTek is definitely doing the computer side of things. A partnership between the two, especially with regards to EVs, that's yes. something to look, look yes. forward to. I can offer all the best wishes to the brand with whatever they do in the future. Again, thank, thank you, you so much for your time. You're yeah, welcome. It was a pleasure meeting thank you. Thank you.